Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Take a look at the final results of that Dunienberg Florentine tote that took a spin in my washing machine. Stay tuned and be surprised. Good morning. Hello, YouTube. It's your girl, Crystal, coming to you from Ball Black Girls Chronicles. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, what I'm talking about today is that Florentine, um, that Dooney and Burke Florentine tote that I put in the uh, washing machine. So, um, if you remember, I got it from Poshmark again. Um, I paid more than I wanted to spend on it, but I bought it and, uh, and it did not look how I would hope it looked. So, I put it in the wash, um, cleaned it out, put it in the wash. And then I let it air dry. So this is it air dried. Um, and voila. You remember one of the things I was like it didn't it wasn't holding its shape anymore. It definitely wasn't standing up anymore. Um, and um, I don't know. It just it just wasn't up to snuff, for lack of a better word that I have for it. So this is it now. Um, take a look at it. So one of um, one of um, the viewers uh, says what she has uh, says what has her own YouTube channel. Check her out. She was surprised that it did not um, the color from the leather didn't bleed into the uh, canvas part of things. I, girl, I didn't even think about that. I mean, even, I mean, the red part could have, the lining from the, the, um, the dye from the lining could have bled into, to the, the bag too, but it didn't. So I'm glad it didn't. I didn't even think about that. So you remember I stuffed this pocket to make sure it had some level of shape here. So, um, there you go. My, my cousin was like, yeah, it gotta be vintage. Look at this little cell phone pocket. I was like, I didn't think about that either. Gosh, uh, you know, I call these little formerly cell phone pockets. Now I call them key fob pockets because that's what I use it for to put my key fob in there. But here's the bag. So what's the next step for this bag? Um, it turned out really well. Well, what do you do when you first get out the tub or the shower? If you're anything like me, you better lotion up because, <laughs> because your skin is going to dry out, especially in the wintertime. So that's what I'm preparing to do for her. Um, I have, and I'll, I'll just start it a little bit, um, and then uh, I'll come back and show you all how it worked out. But um, I, I selected two different types of um, conditioner for this bag. I have... Parker's and Bailey's, which is a cream-based um, leather conditioner. Um, you see it can be used for bags, sofas, gloves, uh, mitts, you know, boots, whatever the case may be. So I have this. It's, like I said, a cream base. Um, and then the other, I'll show you. So I like it's nice and thick cream like base. There we are. And then the other option that I have is Boot Guard, um, which is a leather dressing, restores and waterproofs, which is always nice. Now this is a cream base. It's almost like a, a beeswax petroleum jelly. So these are the two options. I'm gonna test each side and see which one I think works best for this bag. You know, not all leather is the same. Not all products work well, um, in my opinion. And again, I'm not an expert, so you know, you use your best judgment for you. But I feel like not all products work the same for every leather item. Some works responds very well to what is deemed the cream base, and others um, respond better to what I call the um, jelly or um, petroleum based beeswax type of leather. So I'll find out which one works best 
And what I want to do is I, I do want to soften up the leather a little bit. I want to just moisturize it um, and um, get it nice and, and soft and ready for use or sell. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the bag, but it turned out really well. If you recall, I did the uh, carpet cleaner, the awesome carpet cleaner on it to do some stain, um, some spot treatment on some of the stains. It turned out really well too. So you're not seeing no stains around there. I thought it was like a high traffic area, but it's really not. I think it was just stains from the zipper, from the zipper, but um, they, it turned out really well. The stains have, have gone. And again, it did not damage the bag, which is what I always worry about. So very pretty purse. Everything is still in working order. I ended up with no holes, no problems with the lining. The lining looks good, nice and clean. Zipper still works perfectly fine. Um, so the handle's not a problem, not a stitch lost there. So it really turned out well. I'll just do a little bit of the conditioning on this bag so you'll get an idea of what I do. And then, um, and then I'll let you go for the day. Um, yeah, so it turned out well to me considering that it went into the washing machine. What you think? So what I did is I tried the, and it didn't do bad. Let's try the um, beeswax type of um, the boot guard. What I like about um, the boot guard part of things is although it's like a um, almost like a petroleum jelly type of thing because I do have an oil-based conditioner too I did not want to use the oil-based conditioner on this because fear of it running and then it'll run into the um, into the canvas which I didn't want to do that because it could definitely stain the canvas so instead I, I chose the um, the uh, petroleum jelly beeswax type of conditioner instead. So I do it in a nice little circular motion. I don't know why, somebody suggested that and so that's what I follow. Um, I'll do this side with the uh, boot guard. And I know it says boot guard, but I feel like leather conditioner is leather conditioner it can be good for boots shoes bags um your sofa any any leather item so um but again you find the product that works best for you you know a sister's frugal so i know there are some products out there that cost more and um and could possibly do a great job my sister don't want to spend that money on that. So this side um, had the boot guard there. And then let's try the Parkers and Baileys for the other side and see. Ooh, I got a nice little scratch in there. If you see in scratches, that means it's still pretty dry. I know it looks like it darkens the leather and that's a risk you run. I don't mind if it darkens it, but most of the time what I found that it does is it after it dries, it doesn't darken it at all. All right, let's try the, um, the um, Parker's and Bailey's, the cream base one. Oh gosh, I put too much there. And I've got a diff different microfiber. They're both microfiber towels, so um, Again, I still do the circular motion. Just have to be a little more careful because this is a little um, unpredictable, so I don't want to get it on the uh, canvas there. So, what I find is for the cream base, the cream base conditioner has more water, I would say, in it than the um, then the the um, 
petroleum jelly style. Um, so it may look more wet, but after it dries, it sometimes doesn't dry as well. And then I have to add a different coat. I mean, another coat. Um, but we'll see. They both didn't do bad, I would say. Yeah, they both didn't do bad. My bracelet came off. So, this one has the Bugard. This one has the Parkers and Bailey, this side. So, you see, they both didn't do bad. I like the smell of both. So, it, wouldn't, it does not matter to me. But, I'm gonna go ahead and um, condition the entire bag and then I'll come back to you with a follow-up of the end product. Thank you YouTube and I'll see you soon. Yes. Hello, you two. 
move, I'm back. So I conditioned the bag um, and I ended up using mostly the boot guard. Um, you see how much softer it is? Gosh, she, I don't know if she's going to stand up for us. She's so flexible now that she's been oiled up and lotioned up. So here's the end result. You remember I said I used the boot guard leather dressing um, restorer and waterproof first. So that's what I used um, for her. Probably something I picked up from TJ Maxx. You know that's where I get all my stuff. Um, so here she is after she's been nice and, and conditioned. I'm gonna tie it again with her slopping up water. So she looks very pretty. I focused a lot on the piping here because that's what happens when the bag is super dry. It will start to crack around, you know, these thick stitching areas along the edges too, you know. So I did focus a lot around these edges, the bottom because it is sitting on a surface um, to keep it clean and um, in the best shape possible. Um, so overall, what do you think? Share with me in the comments what you think overall of how she turned out um, after her spin in the washing machine. You see I put her hang tag back up there. Yes, I did. Um, I did not put that in the wash, but I added it back to the bag after conditioning conditioning it. So I think she turned out really well. Um, so she's a fairly large toad. Look, she's pretty. You know, one of those things that can go with just about anything. Stand up. So you see how big she is? She fits really nice on the shoulders and on um, under the arm, even with my little bulky um, shirt I have on today. So this is her, super pretty. Let me know what you think. Again, have you ever tried washing in the washing machine? Super clean. Um, not a problem there, I didn't lose any stitching. Zipper still works. Zipper pull, all of that is in good shape. The spot cleaning that I did is really, um, the bag turned out just overall really well. I'm really happy with the, um, the um, overall look of it. And remember, if you wanna know some information about the bag itself, here you go. So yeah, tell me what you think, YouTube. Have you ever tried that? You know, be careful. You know, like I said, it was pointed out that, you know, I, it could have it could have been worse. We could have gotten some bleeding here. Um, the cutter could have, color could have bled into the fabric here, which it didn't, luckily for me. Um, or the red part could have caused some problems, but it didn't. So, I, you know, I got lucky. So be careful if you ever choose to put your bag in the wash machine. Um, be mindful. Walk, look at the the um, fabric, the materials. It'll, it'll tell you a lot. Pay very close attention to what you're working with. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions about the products that I use to clean her or the process, please feel free to um, leave me a comment in the comment section. Uh, check out the other videos that I did about this bag. Um, the before, the during, and the after. This is the after. Um, and um, let me know if you have any questions. Of course, always, if you haven't done, all, done so already, consider liking um, and subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification so you're notified the next time I upload a video. And remember, YouTube, if you do nothing else, you're not kind to anybody else. Be kind to yourself. Thank you so much for joining me and enjoy the remainder of your day. Bye now.